here with Austin P. Head Coach Scotty Walden. Coach, we talked last year, a lot of expectations going into the season. New quarterback, new, new positional guys as well. How did you feel last year went for you as a whole? Yeah, I, I, it was a great year. You know, you know, we, we won uh, only the third conference championship in this school's history, and it was an awesome season. I was so proud of our team because we really came together, and I felt like, you know, you know, played as one, played as a team. The thing I'm probably most proud of is, you know, through good, through bad, we had no division of – offense and defense and we fence it was just it was a, such a togetherness with a team that you know I haven't experienced you know I, you know very very often you know I think that uh, those are special teams that um, you know that, that, that don't come around often because there's just such a special tight-knit group and the thing I love loved about it was you know they you know I think we were picked to finish like last in the league or something like that and you know and those guys didn't let anything define them and uh, you know because that's what we're trying to do we're, we're continuing to try to prove you know, people wrong and, and, you know, get national respect. And uh, the only way you get respect is, you know, going by earning it. And that's what that group did last year and, um, you know, really paved the way and set up an exciting season uh, for us this year. Because of the weird tiebreaker, even though you guys won the conference championship, you guys couldn't go to the SCS playoffs. For you, did you feel like that was a missed opportunity for your team to gain that experience in the postseason and feel what it's like to play in late December, early December, or late November, early December? Yeah, it hurt. I mean, it definitely hurt. I mean, having to stand in front of that room, we're watching the TV and, you know, stand in front of the room and tell those guys that, you know, all our hard work, you know, that we put in, you know, this is it, guys. And um, it was disappointing, you know, but you know what? I, I was, th that disappointment showed me that you know our players have high standards our coaching staff have high standards you know we expect to compete for the, for uh, for championships every year and expect to get in the playoffs and, and make a run and that's that's what we set out to do what we came to Austin P to do and so uh, you know it was it was it was hard but at the end of the day you know I, I think uh, it's like we talked to our team all this offseason about is you know we got to leave no doubt you know and, and especially at a, at a at a place like Austin P that maybe doesn't have as rich tradition and things of the nature we're building that tradition you know building that consistency and I think if we continue to build that consistency um, then you know those opportunities are going to continue to come right but um, I think the biggest thing was you know this you're going into it is you know we're talking about just hey leaving no doubt and, and breaking the status quo and and not leaving it up to a committee you know uh you know we had the loss of central arkansas you know and uh you know this day and age college football man you got to be you got to be near perfect you know um so it was uh it was definitely a a, a, a learning moment but i'll tell you this it um we went in the offseason with the championship you know with with a 3.0 gpa as a team but with a chip on our shoulder because of the missed playoff opportunity so in a way it ended up being a blessing because it fueled our offseason Last year, I asked you, you guys lost a lot to the transfer portal, and yeah. I was like, well, how do you replace that? Well, you guys had newcomers all across the board yeah. show out and step up again. Another exodus of a few guys that stepped up into the portal. Yeah. Are you confident that you got that? How do you guys prepare these young guys where if it's if this guy decides to leave or graduates, we're ready to go at that position? Yeah, it starts with the position coaches, and, and I, I lay to them every single day. You, you have got to always be recruiting, and you've got to have guys in your back pocket at all times in case those things happen. But also, we have to develop people. We have to develop players, and that's but that's what I love about coaching college football the most is, you know, and I'm not afraid to say this, like we're a developmental program, and that isn't that's not a negative connotation. It's like we're in the business of developing people and developing players, and I think that's that's why that's what gets my fuel going, man, is is getting to, getting to see that freshman blossom, you know, into a junior that's you know playing at a high level, and uh, you know we we always have to be recruiting though, and I'm so proud of our, our coaching staff um, and our recruiting department. We we went and got after we signed the number one class in our conference, um, number four class in the nation, um, so. I I do believe that we brought in the pieces that are necessary to replace uh, the young men that, that exited our program. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to have, you know, we, we got to put the pads on and see where they're at, right? But we believe in them. I, they, they have come in this summer, and I can tell you this, man, like, uh, have made a drastic impact. I mean, they have come in, they've bought in our culture, and they're working uh, just, just incredibly hard. And I'm really excited to get to see those guys on display in the fall. Last year, quarterback situation was a little bit up in the air when we talked. You, yeah. you were very high on the guy that you brought here. Today, <laughs> and he delivered. I'll say that. Talk yeah. a little bit about his development in the program and what you're expecting from him year two now that he set the bar pretty high. Yeah. Well, Mike DeLello, you know, we got in June. And I was really excited when I talked to you, yeah. Zach, last year because of the person he was. I knew he had ability, but he is the best leader and the toughest quarterback I've ever coached. I mean, hands down. You know, best I've ever been around in, in that regard, and, I, and he is extremely talented with his legs, with his arm. Uh, but you got to remember, we got him in June, so you know he earned that starting job in a course of a couple months, and it really, you know, continued to take time for him to gel. Now, I feel like you know he can he can dang near run the offense himself. You know, he feels comfortable. He know he he you know he and I have gotten on the same page of you know he knows how I think, I know how he thinks, and uh, the biggest thing is, I mean, he's the alpha of our team. I mean, he leads our team. Uh, the, the players look to him, and he's coming in and made a. a 
amazing impact on our football team. And I think it was a key, key cog to us winning a championship last year, and it'll be a key force going forward. And I think the biggest thing, he, he just has to, Mike, Mike just has to do a great job of making sure that, um, you know, he doesn't grow complacent himself, which he is super intrinsically motivated. And that's just something I've been talking to him this offseason about, but I haven't seen a glimmer of it. Uh, he wants to be the best in the country. He wants to be the best quarterback in the nation. He wants to lead uh, the best offense in the country, and uh, he, he wants our program uh, to go compete for championships.